right now, there are only a small number of Christians in Vietnam. So that's why this is a very urgent to preach the gospel. The Vietnamese people, they don't care much about their spirituality. They don't care much about their soul. When I look at them, I feel very sad they don't have Jesus Christ. That's why I pour my heart to pray, God, please save the Vietnamese people. The need to reach men and women with the truth of the gospel is growing every day. There's millions and millions of people. They're going to be separated from God for eternity. The only hope is Jesus Christ. We've got to share with them the good news. God is willing to save us, and we just can't sit back, and we just can't take our time. We need to get out there and get it done. The churches were looking for an opportunity to invite us. In many places in the world, it's difficult for Christians to have outside services, to do evangelism. Because of the law, we are not allowed to preach the gospel to anyone else outside of our church. We have to ask permission from authority to do evangelism. If God puts a burden on a heart for something, pray about it and just see what God does. He'll use any of us. So we pray and we ask for God's help. God do something in the heart of the official. God uses prayer. God opened up doors and gave us great favor to some of the communist officials that said yes. This is a good chance for us to preach the gospel publicly to the community. It's so good for us. To be able to stand and tell people Jesus Christ is God's Son, He's the way, the truth, and the life. It was uh, really a historic occasion. We first started looking at coming to Vietnam about three years ago. We're grateful to the government of Vietnam for allowing us to come. When I was uh, invited to uh, be interpreter for Dr. Franklin Graham, I was so scared. Standing in front of the big crowd like that uh, scared me. So I asked God, this is a privilege for me, an honor for me, help me to do my job well. And I hope many people will listen to it and come to accept Jesus Christ. There are many of you here tonight that you're in danger of losing your souls. And tonight I'm going to give you an opportunity to invite Jesus Christ to come into your heart and to your life. Jesus Christ came from heaven to this earth to save you. By going to the cross and dying in your place, shedding his blood for your sins, if you're willing to turn from your sins, tonight God will forgive you. Is your soul secure in the hands of Almighty God? If you're not sure, you can be sure right now. So wherever you are right now, come. Come to Jesus tonight. So when I see people coming to accept Jesus Christ, I almost cry. What happened is so amazing. It was beyond my thinking. Dear Governor Governor, I'm a son. I'm sorry for my sins. 